Okay. Please turn off all cell phones and electronic devices. And would everyone please rise for a moment of silence and the pledge of the flag. Okay, roll call. Here. Bonasek? Here. Turnbull? Here. Amo? Here. Anagnostakis? Present. Benton? Here. Berkman? Here. Benelli? Here. Cheney? Here. Dillard? DeSalvo? Present. Ekis? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Chemnitz? Here. Korsak? O'Donnell, Paduke, Ruskevich, Here. Sullivan, Vero, Gresham. Here. Here. 17 present, 4 absent. Okay, are there any uh, referrals, consents, or withdrawals? Okay, I guess not. Um, we have four speakers signed up for public participation. First up is Grace Riaro regarding the Ramapo Catskill Library System. And thank you for supporting the libraries. Me. Um, I have the sincere pleasure to work with your libraries in Orange County. We have 17 of them, and I want to thank you for your support. It's uh, nice that you have increased the amount of money, hopefully, tonight, that goes to them. And I want to tell you a little bit about what they do with the money. For the past um, seven years, they've been helping people get jobs. Uh, when folks lost their jobs, um, a lot of them didn't understand the work market and the internet or had to apply for a job. And these libraries have helped them with that. We hire counselors, uh, local counselors, to help people for half an hour on whatever is it that they need. It could be a resume development, it could be interviews, it could be learning how to use LinkedIn. And a lot of these folks can't even move the mouse sometimes, so we help them apply for jobs in CBS and ShopRite and things like that. So those are the things that they've been doing for the past seven years, and I have numbers. For example, this past fall, we had about 20 people that found jobs, thanks to your libraries. So this is what we're doing, and we're helping them with also literacy, computer literacy. That's also another thing that they help, and a lot of the funds that you give them supports that. So I just wanna say thank you very much for your support. I sincerely appreciate it, and they're here for your community as well as myself. Thank you. Next speaker is Jill Cronin from the Greenwood Lake Public Library, also regarding library funding. Good evening, everybody. Um, I want to also thank you for your support in the past and root on for the support coming up. To build a little bit on what Grace was talking about, in Greenwood Lake, we've uh, really kind of turned our outreach programs around. Um, where we are actually bringing our programs to the senior center. One of them is digital literacy, which is so important. We send our computer librarians there. They are teaching the seniors not only just how to answer emails, but to see and print pictures of their grandchildren. That's their favorite so far. Um, but in addition to that, we're, we're gonna build on those outreach programs too. We're gonna go to preschools and start digital literacy with them. We are going to make sure that we keep up with the print um, and the traditional resources that libraries have always given, and at the same time start to balance that with virtual and digital needs. So thank you for your support, and uh, keep thinking about us. We will, thank you, Joe. Jenny Niedermeyer from Josephine Louise Public Library. Hi, Jenny Russia, legislators. Um, I also sit on the board for the Orange Library Association, so I just want to give you a little update on what we've done this past year when all 17 libraries in your county come together. 
Uh, we, early in the year, we sponsored a bus trip to Albany in order to attend Library Legislative Day, meeting with respected elected officials for increased funding. In March, uh, members attended a meet and greet with a variety of county agencies at the Orange County Arboretum to network and see how libraries and agencies can help one another. In April, we held a continuing education workshop for your libraries in Orange County. Uh, it was called Hooray for Freedom, and it goes over libraries' privacy, policies, and procedures. In May, we co-sponsored a workshop with RCLS uh, on social media with uh, Dana Wilbanks from Albany Public Library targeting the Friends of the Library groups. In September, uh, the Orange Library Association was honored and delighted <coughs> to offer the Pulitzer Prize winning book titled The Underground Railroad as our Orange Reads project for this year, culminating in the author event held in Tuxedo with the author Colson Whitehead. The 17 libraries participated and 180 people attended that event. Um, this drew people as far away as Vermont. Member libraries held smaller events on the theme of the Underground Railroad and a recording of the event will be available on DVD later this year. The event generated good press for libraries and the Orange Library Association, and also highlighted the rich history that Orange County has. Uh, we've done that in the past with um, a, a summer scavenger hunt for Orange County, and as well as our uh, focus on veterans with our um, Orange Reads book, Unbroken, based on World War II story of Louis Zamperini. In October, our final continuing ed workshop co-sponsored with RCLS was called Branding Your Library with Doug Bixler from Schenectady County Public Library. So that's what the Orange Library Association has done this year. Um, my library partners with uh, the high school in something called Students to Work in the Valley Central School District. We currently have four students from the high school that are part of uh, the library. They come in with um, um, a, an attendant or a, um, I can't think of the word, excuse me, um, but that person, that student comes in with a, um, an attendant that um, helps them learn the business. And from that program, we've hired uh, three. So we have three students. So making this not only um, an education resource, but an employment resource as well. So we thank you for coming together, for supporting the increased library funding. We hope to keep it at this level and uh, hopefully with um, increments over the coming years yeah, increase very much. Um, thank you, Jim. Okay, next up is Chuck Thomas from the Newburgh Free Library. Library support and thank you, legislators, for past support of our efforts to support our communities. I do want to thank you. Chuck Thomas, the director of the Newburgh Free Library, Mr. Chairman, members of the legislature. It's my pleasure to really be here, and I will be brief. I don't want to cover a lot of new ground, but historically, Orange County has been supportive of its educational uh, institutions. And as you know, uh, well, you might know, Newburgh Free Library has been under the uh, auspices of the state education department before there was a state education department. We actually started in 1852. Now. Orange County has been very, very uh, strong in supporting your libraries. So you know, the libraries become the base of the community. It's like you have to have a library, you have to have a post office, you have to have an identity to your communities. And we really relish that role, and you have made it possible for us to further that role. Well, briefly, your support over the last seven years has allowed us to level the playing field for everybody by providing technology, and resources to our communities that they can't otherwise um, afford. So I'm including in that access to internet, access to the computers, and access to databases and books on tape and things, our books, uh, downloadable books, things like that that are that are we supply. So that's really what we use your money for. It's been very important. We could certainly use some more. I won't say that, but uh, thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, um, agenda item number one. Legislator Benton, resolution revisiting, I'm sorry, resolution revising the proposed 2017 executive budget for Orange County pursuant to section 358 of the county law and section 4.07A of the Orange County Charter. Second. Did you say 2017 budget? Yeah. Anyway, 18, I guess, if you would say. Okay. Should be 18. Uh, discussion? Yes, Legislator Nagdastakis. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so we're going to be discussing now the uh, amendments that we've made to, to the budget. And I want to call everyone's, uh, to everyone's attention. Uh, item number 15 on the, uh, the pages that have the, the changes itemized. So it'd be on the second page and it'd be number 15. Uh, and first of all, I, I'd like to thank every one of my colleagues who supported the measures that I uh, proposed uh, within the Ways and Means Committee and we passed them to get them to the floor here. And I also, in advance, want to thank every one of my colleagues for supporting this uh, on the floor today. Um, I, quite frankly, I, I, was, I was shocked when, when I saw that the, uh, the budget for this line item had been cut by $23,300, an over 22% decrease. Um, probably the year before I came into office, the, the high level mark for this item to the libraries was 140,000, and uh, during the, the tough years uh, that occurred, uh, it had been cut down to about 80,000, the low water mark. And so over the last handful of years, I and a lot of you, my colleagues, have uh, tried to bring that line item back from the low point of 80,000, somewhere I thought at least to the midway point um, of the high water mark of 140, and we kind of were getting there, we were succeeding until I was blindsided with a $23,300 decrease. Um, I, I, I don't quite get it, I mean, I'm going to pray that these decreases and cuts don't occur in the future, because as long as I'm in the legislature, I'm going to attempt to restore them and incrementally increase that line item. As Republican, I know that the Republican mantra, correctly so, is that we don't want to give people handouts. We want to give them the tools for them to be able to better their lives, to be able to get themselves off of the social welfare programs, to, to cost the taxpayers less money. And so when you hear that this meager amount of money is, is providing opportunities for maybe dozens of people to advance themselves and to get off of social welfare, it's mind-boggling why there would be a $23,300 cut. So um, what, I am, what I've done and what passed in Ways and Means, we have restored the $23,300 cut, and on top of that included an additional $10,000 incremental increase to the line item um, bringing it up to $115,000 to the libraries, which is exactly the halfway point of the high water mark of 140 and the low water mark of 80,000. I hope everyone supports this. I thank you in advance for your support. Yes, Legislator Burke. Is that a, is that a motion? I, I think it's already in these changes. It's already in there. You don't have to. You know. Okay. My only uh, comment is. Uh, Thank you to all the library people that are here. Great to see you. And libraries are the great equalizer. Public libraries specifically are the great equalizer. You know, there's not many institutions in our society where people with doctorates, educated degrees, professors, whatever, are, are next on, at the same table with somebody going for their GED or just learning how to read. Uh, and they're both committed to the public library. Same thing about income levels. You could be the millionaire up the street or somebody that's flat broke, and the library serves both. So uh, I applaud your efforts, and I agree with um, my colleague, Mr. Anagostakis, we should fund, uh, add, do our share as a county to fund public libraries, so thank you. And one last comment, uh, I like the audio books, so I hope you add a few more. Any other discussion? Okay, I'll entertain a vote on agenda item number one. Fonse? Yes. Turnbull? Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Yes. Benton? Berkman? Yes. Benelli? Yes. Cheney? DeSalvo? Aye. Ekis? Yes. Fagione? Yes. Hines? Yes. Chemnitz? Yes. Kulisek? Yes. O'Donnell? Riskevich? Yes. Bureau? Yes. Brescia? Yes. 17 ayes. Motion passes. The desk Motion. is clear. Libraries are in good shape. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried.